So this week, the NFL owners are in meetings in Atlanta, and um, I can't believe that the NFL is actually getting back to their old ways of banning celebrations. Um, for a long time there, back in, I want to say it was the, it was in the 90s, early 2000s, uh, the National Football League was known as the No Fun League because they banned celebrations. And you can, you can correct me if I'm wrong down in the chat, which by the way, if you would, please, a um, couple of things you can do to support the channel, support the things that I'm doing here on the channel, and they're free. Uh, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And uh, again, before you leave, leave a comment in the chat down below or in the comment section down below. So, back to what I was saying. The NFL for a long time was the no fun league. And then they started to relax some of those rules about celebrations. And now you, and now you see more and more celebrations. But one celebration they don't want you to see, and I'm pulling this article from Breitbart that seems to be the only place that I can find anything about this, no place in professional football for finger gun gestures. That's right. You can't do the pew, pew, pew. Or you can't do the first down. Or anything of that measure. Otherwise, you're going to get a penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct and a 15-yard penalty. I just said penalty twice. Anyway, you guys get the gist of what I'm saying. So here we have Troy Vincent. He's the executive vice president of operations for the NFL. During the meetings I mentioned down in Atlanta, where he says there's no place in professional football for that. That's according to Ian Rappaport of the NFL Network. So... Yeah, we're, we're back now to penalizing celebrations. Um, as an example, Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey addressed the NFL increase calls against finger gun gestures saying it's my second amendment. Yes, it is your second amendment. But on the flip side, um, The Second Amendment doesn't apply to when you're at work. Now, do I agree with the NFL banning finger guns, finger gun gestures? No, I don't. I think it's stupid. I think it's crazy. I think it's nuts. I think it's insane. But them's the rules, I guess. Now, Travis Kelsey was responding to a 15-yard unsportsmanlike conduct penalty thrown against New York Jets wide receiver Alan Lazard. Which, if you follow Alan Lazard throughout his career, he has been doing finger gestures like this, like that, like that, all throughout his career. Has a bit of problem. From what, until now. Um, New York Giants wide receiver Darius Slayton has also voiced opposition to the finger gun crackdown as he believes there's a double standard in the way penalties are metered out. Well, yeah, that happens a lot in the NFL because certain players who are quote unquote the stars do seem to get special treatment. And to name a few, Dallas Cowboys wide receiver CeeDee Lamb. Dallas Cowboys quarterback, Dak Prescott, Kansas City Chiefs quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, and wide receiver, Juju Smith-Schuster. They all celebrated first downs this past weekend with finger gestures of the pew-pew type. And they weren't penalized. Now, Darius Slayton was back on October 6th in a game against the Seattle Seahawks. He used his fingers to gesture a first down while hauling in a massive 41-yard catch. And then he got the unsportsmanlike penalty for 15 yards. 
Now, I gotta say, the comments <laughs> over on Breitbart have been really good. I'm just gonna read a few here. Um, let me refresh this page. Oh no, not the dreaded finger gun. Liberals will cower in fear and hide their kids under the closet. What about the fully semi-automatic finger gun? <laughs> um, this one here, Jim Harbaugh, football is the last bastion of hope for toughness in American men. And the woke, you know what, are doing everything in their power to feminize it. Um, <laughs> what is fully semi-automatic? That, that's a good one. Uh, only 10 fingers available. <laughs> Over on X, uh, the very first comment here is I completely agree. Guns have no place in the NFL and any celebration that involves guns should be banned. In completely unrelated news, this is what the Patriots do every time they score a touchdown. Yeah. Not to mention the flyovers done before games. Uh, a lot of times you'll see uh, A-10 Warthogs, um, F-16 Fighting Falcons, B-52s, B-2s, all flying over stadiums uh, during pregame ceremonies. Usually it's right after the national anthem is sung. Uh, here's one of my favorite ones is Will Levis of the Tennessee Titans. Since, since you can't do the gun celebration anymore, how about Spider-Man shooting webs? That one's, that one's a great one. Um, so the no fun league has banned finger guns during celebrations in the woke NFL. You know what league? Roger Goodell is nothing but a hack. What a POS sheep he, he is. <laughs> well, I'm in agreement there. Roger Goodell is a POS. Uh, I've never liked him as commissioner. I think he's... I think in some aspects he's um, a wuss. And in other aspects, I think he's too strict. Just saying. So... Here's one here. This is uh, Deshaun Watson and David Njaku. They were each fined 13K for a gun-themed celebration after a Browns touchdown. I, th th this is silly. It's, e it's even sillier that I have to make a video on this. Hey, NFL, you know what? You're, you're, you're getting back to what you were in the 90s and the early 2000s being the no fun league. Let players celebrate. I mean, as a kid, finger guns were a thing. They still are a thing. So there you have it. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. While you're at it, please take the time to give me a thumbs up. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that one, I will see you guys.